almost ready for hockey is Sammy Walker. Clock issue, or I mean, I know that first puck drop very important. See Sammy Walker smiling there off of the face. Looks to be a nice crowd gathered tonight inside Pagula Ice Arena. A lot going on. It's Fawn weekend. Senior night inside Pagula as well. This is Gratton trying to take it wide on the cone. Chips it in front. There's Penn State. The opening goal. Johnny Abbott, the freshman, finds the goal first. Coming up the wall. Gratton gets it, and then he just gets to the net with it. And then Janine goes where you need to go to score the big goals. The big, the really good. Justin Close will let his defenseman take care of it. Long pass sneaking in. Bryce Brodzinski ended up getting a weak backhand shot away. Holding in here is Lampa. Nice backhand pass right in front. Justin Close there makes the save on Kenny Johnson. Penn State finds the exit, but not for long. Brodzinski walks in the quick snapshot. Down on his knees. Audio there to make the save. Fumbled that puck, but Minnesota now still breaking and attacking. Pidlick waits, fires, and a very patient Oscar Audio stopping Rhett Pidlick. Kester just softly off the wall. Break free by the Nittany Lions, and Ryan Kerwin will drive it in. There's Kevin Wall. Quick shot, rebound, they score! Guess who? Ryan Kerwin, Nittany Lions lead by two. Penn State type of goal. They get the puck deep. Kevin Wall gets in on the forecheck. Coles was not able to corral that puck behind, and that's a key thing, because if he stops that puck, that puck does not come around the wall. His right pad right on to the stick of Kerwin, and he's not a guy that's going to miss an empty net. We saw his deadly release last night. That's why it's the second of the series for Ryan Kerwin, 11th on the year. Another opportunity. Make it 3-0. It's Tyler Paquette. This is crazy. A couple, both their other ones were in tight plays with a great pass from behind the net. The big man, this is a new line put together. Johnny Ev, who opened up the scoring the other way for Penn State. Dropped off, quick pad save there by Justin Close. He lands. You still want to say Alex Limoges, but now Mr. Limoges is playing pro hockey. Penn State looking to add to their lead there. Nice little glove save. Kevin Wall with the attempt there for Penn State. That pair and the Canadians arrive Monday for Michigan. They seem to be doing okay without them, man. Unbelievable. Luke Hughes. Big Carl Fish there. The man nicknamed Tuna for Minnesota. To Bros and softly out to center. Rip right back in off of Justin Close. With five seconds to go. I'm not sure why that wasn't icing right there. It's a few seconds left. But... Maybe say it was a little bit too much of a fat rebound that he left out there for Kerwin on the second goal. But other than that, the other two goals were back, a backdoor play and then a... His audio. Up the boards for Pillowitz. There's Blake McLaughlin closing down the wall. Ryan Johnson shooting a low one there. And Audio grabs it with the glove. All three in the far corner for Minnesota. Need a little separation. Bros from the boards. Kester floats in, walks, waits, tucks it in. That's a wonderful goal. That might get Minnesota going. Mike Kester does it by himself and has the Gophers on the board let that puck go is I think it just missed his skate it works out and Kessler fakes I thought maybe he'd go far side but he tucks it into the short side he kind of banks it off the side of the net first Penn State attacking Paquette he's had a nice weekend Tyler Paquette number 23 run into Schoen there Kevin Wall dragging the puck forward. Wall on his backhand close. The pad save. And the rebound ends up along the left wing boards. Faber on the point. Stoddicker time. Room lets it fly. Rebound was there for a moment as it slapped away. Years actually, you know, you don't, some, don't see that too often that the parity in the Big Ten has been great. Lacombe throws it in front. Pitlick takes a whack at it. So is Huglin. 
Yeah, it looked like the puck rolled on him a little. This freshman line, though, has been back to back, really good shifts. Oh, there's Pedlick, another opportunity in front. It's Brooks Shank on the four check here. And Kenny Johnson knocks it out to center, bouncing puck. Kevin Wall carries. Wall takes it wide, just in close. Again, the save, and he's able to quickly cover. Paquette spins out, Blake McLaughlin the other way, Sammy Walker, Walker walks, fires, and that's helped wide off a stick as well. Walker back to the point, it goes to Brinkman down low, McLaughlin shoots, he scores! Blake McLaughlin, wicked drive, Minnesota's climbed to within one. Walker leading the way, and then he continues on and gets the puck to Brinkman, and then McLaughlin is left wide open alone on the right Circle and he buries it under the bar on Oscar. Recently became the 86th member of the 100 point club, at the University of Minnesota. His assist, Tristan Bros. Johnson fires, fought off with the blocker there by audio. Ben Myers knocking down everything there on the four check. Puck squirts in front. Mason Nevers looked like he might get an opportunity. And his Denaples and the Nittany Lions need a clear and they get one. Fragile state. Nevers drops it. Quick shot off the goal post, I believe. Sounded like Purvis caught the goal post. As the Gophers try to attack and tie this game. That Purvis shot did hit the post that we heard moments ago. Bad angle shot. Penn State. They find one from a severe angle. It's Lampa. And there's more life once again inside Pagula. Penn State, this is a key moment for them. The puck just gets to the wall. And not even to the wall, just the bottom of the circle. And can kind of chalk that one up as a close. A... Started to open up a little bit here in the second period as well. Give me all that. As an offensive guy, I want to see all the offense. Look at the finesse in the hands there from Huglin with the little drag. Just couldn't complete the task. Bouncing puck settled down by Clayton Phillips. That's knocked down, but not stopped or handled cleanly by Justin Cloak. Have to wonder if he's a little rattled. Back on the point it goes. Dow the shot. Yeah, he's definitely fighting the puck, doing his, staying in his spots, not able to grab pucks. Crookshank and Nevers rummaging along the boards. Ben Myers has it. Down to Kester, walks in, the one-timer, they score! Grant Crookshank, the searing low finish in Minnesota, once again, climbs to within one. Hey, ben Myers, calmly kind of waits, it looks like maybe I'm gonna shoot, nope, I got Kester, and then that opens up that weak side pass. The transfer grad senior puts his fifth in the net and picks it a one-goal game. And like you said, things are wide open right now at Pagula. That's just to serve Grant Crookshank. He's had a good weekend, and you got to watch out here at Penn State. Winding up here is Sammy Walker next to his favorite teammate, Blake McLaughlin. Walker feathers it back on the point. Ryan Johnson gets the shot through barely just by the skate of the Nittany Lion defender. Lugris loses it. Brett Pitlick, five seconds to go. Brett Pitlick, does he have enough time in front? Never made the connection. But a feisty second period for Minnesota, just what they needed after a sleepy. Fresh sheet of ice. Both teams begin this final period of regulation at full strength. And off they go. Favor, he continues to see minutes as well as Ben Myers, both back from Beijing, representing Team USA at the Olympics. Takes a deflection right into the gopher bench. Here's a look at the hook. They knock it back to the point. Jackson, Lacombe, Ben Myers, a minute 20 to go on the power play. Lacombe, Ben Myers, the one-timer block. Ben Myers again, another one-timer. This one from Huglin. Oscar Audio down to make the save. It's up from both sides. Ben Myers, like I said, good puck movement. He puts it on the tee. Kenny Johnson blocks it, but that puck goes back over the other side, and Huglin gets the one-timer. Nice little save from... 
68 seconds to go on the power play. Lacombe inching in. That's padded aside by Audio. Loose puck, Ben Myers. Oh. Huglin to Lacombe. Ben Myers. Back to Jackson Lacombe. Huglin gets the pass through the seam. Back to Huglin. Shoots, scores! An absolute laser. Huglin in Minnesota has tied it thanks to the power play. Wasn't able to do it that as we documented on that previous power play chance, but this time, not the slap shot, but just a kind of wrist or curls. It. Really nice call from the freshman who's come on of late. Look at McLaughlin, shoves that one-handed through. Sammy Walker fires it wide, but all set up by Blake McLaughlin's one-handed pass. Pitlick, rink-wide feed for Huglin. Long shot is wide, Pitlick. And he's got a nice shot and not afraid to use it right now. Pitlick, what a toe drag. Just couldn't complete the goal there. Rhett Pitlick flashing these moves. Yeah, he had down turn. Down turn is going to his right. He does that quick move, and he's just been a hair off tonight. You know, he's been scoring. Sammy Walker, bouncing puck. Walks over the line with McLaughlin off of Walker. Just directed wide penalty upcoming. This play is not dead yet. Lacombe shoots. He scores! Jackson Lacombe! How about the defenseman? And Minnesota has their first lead of the night, 5-4. That there was a delayed penalty call coming. I think there was a slash right there on Sammy Walker's stick, but he knows he's can he's got carte blanche that the whistle will be blowing on a Penn State touch, and he comes down into the right circle and buries one past audience. Just pushes it across to Walker. Down low it goes, feathered in front, Ryan Johnson fires. Nice blocker save there by Audio. And now ready to attack, seeking an equalizer. Berger the long shot, close to save. He gets sprayed a little bit. All in good fun, but Penn State's going to need that. They need guys getting to the net hard there's, as they come down the wire. There's Pitlick with the try. The rebound is picked up. Man, go out there and play a good game. Shoved right in front. De Naples winds and fires off the goalpost. Nice and calm. This is the De Naples shot off the pipe. And another bouncing puck. He got everything on that. Goes right off of that right post. It's Johnson hard off the boards. The pass gets through. Minnesota attacking from the left side. It's Crookshank rejected there by Audio. Lampa's eliminated by Lacombe along the boards. Kept alive by Clayton Phillips. Wrist shot coming, close to save, and somehow that puck stays out on the rebound. He might have got a piece of it with the paddle of his goal stick. You see a defenseman, an offensive-minded defenseman like Jackson Lacombe get one, and the hunger's amped up. There's Audio kicking that aside. Stodiker to Faber. Low drive, Rhett Pitlick. Huglin shoots right at Audio, who does a good job to melt down any potential re Kester to Crookshank. Paquette throws it towards the goal. Justin Close covers it. Tries to find his buddy, his senior mate, Sammy Walker, and we'll see if it comes back to bite him in the butt. Gophers again win the faceoff. They had a fight for possession. Empty net trying to close the deal, and it's into the empty net. They don't miss this time. Grant Crookshank and Minnesota puts this one on ice, now leading 6-4. I think that'll benefit them. There's Clayton Phillips in there. Justin Close making a save. So yeah, they face a little adversity. Justin Close and the Minnesota Golden Gophers.